So we're here in Greenland to do climate station maintenance on the ice. And when we have some downtime, we're planting trees as part of greenlandtrees.org. We've been at it officially since 2019. And that's when this little guy was planted on this marginal slope. And uh, of course we were concerned, you know, how many survive of the roughly thousand that we planted on this slope. And I have to tell you, we are finding a high success rate and you know, seeing is believing. So on this unstable slope, we have this grove of trees here. This guy is more like, I would say, gee, waist high. And as you can hear, this is an airfield. It was a former military base. There's a lot of degraded land here, and that's one of the legs that we're standing on is uh, urban restoration or landscape restoration. Have a look at these though. These, they, they, you can see that the density of planting is high. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And down slope, they're a little bit hard to spot. Uh, the, the light green color is natural. It's actually a deciduous Siberian larch, uh, loses its needle. So it's, it's like a coniferous deciduous uh, tree that's well suited for the full sun that this slope gets, uh, so-called pioneer species. Uh, once it matures, it can create the, you know, succession environment for the other trees to colonize. But I'm just noticing all these lines that we planted here. One, two, three, four, five, six, you know, across slope. Here's another line. One, two, three, four, five, six, unstable slope. Uh, so high success rate. And now the, the taller among these, which originally were something like this high, they're waist high in five years. Their growth follows kind of an S curve. It's very slow at start, it accelerates. And as they mature, it, it slows off again. Um, so like pleasantly surprised, perhaps uh, we were hopeful. And, and I can see that the success rate is high. So uh, help us make it happen. Help us continue doing this in Greenland. You can give support and buy trees to remember people by at greenlandtrees.org. And then you see the forest that's coming here. These trees planted in the 1980s, 70s, maybe 60s. There is a forest here. And we chose this part because nothing else had been planted here in terms of trees. Actually, about 20 years ago, uh, Alaskan lupine was planted here with the idea of adding nitrogen to the slope. And uh, so I don't know if we see any lupine. It's not like, you know, running away like it does in some places. Um, but that's our story. Um, help us make it happen at greenlandtrees.org.